I feel like Jack Show would be actually really good. You know what? Maybe we try something different this game. Maybe we try Sunfire Jack Show. Because Jack Show is really good against three these three champions. Like, they have so much magic damage. So, yeah, we'll try Sunfire into Jack Show. If I go Jack Show first, I feel like we're going to lack too much damage. I feel like Rumble Lane's gonna be kind of scary. Rumble's always scary for me. That champ is just good. I was trying to go for the prediction. Gosh, I'm so glad my Q landed there. That was max range Q. They gave me that mark for the extra auto damage. Also, let's try to push. He's not running TP. That was spicy, man. Hoping we can push this before he gets back. It's going to be pretty close. Alright, sweet. Perfect. Oh, Abyssal Mask? Uh, let me see Abyssal. Abyssal actually would be pretty good for my team. Also, Force of Nature is super good, though. Yeah, I think there's too many other good items here. I'm thinking we do like a Sunfire, Jack Show, Force of Nature. Fortune Force of Nature is really good against Rumble and AZ. Pretty good versus you, dude. We might be able to do something here. Let me build up my Q. Oh, my Q ran out. My Q3. I'm going to pull him this way. Did he smite him for the kill there? Nice, good time to gank. Sweep. If the enemy asks, I am the answer. We could go. Actually, wait, I can't go Sheen. That's going to be interesting. If I'm going Jack Show, I can't go Sheen, right? Yeah, all the Sheen are tied to the mythic items. I'm definitely not going to go Essence Reaver or Lich Bin. That's going to be interesting, dude. We're going to be a lot weaker in the All Out. No Sheen proc on my autos? That's going to hurt, man. 
but I guess we'll be extra tanky. It's just a trade-off. I have a good play here. There it is, dude. Perfect execution. If hey, people play at your tower, man, that's such a cheeky way to get a kill. I could maybe kill this guy too, actually. He's too fast. All right, bit of a limit test. It's all right. We don't need our ghost. Yeah, the big thing you want to do with that play if you pull people in a tower is you just build up your Q3, and then you jump to a minion with your E because you get that extended range. So if you have a minion like right here in the Q3, you just jump in, Q3 them in, and then use your W to push them under. And then you can ulti, and then your W gets reset after ulti. So it's super good. Oh, this buy actually kind of sucks. Oh man, it's so tempting to get a Sheen right now. What if we just sit on a Sheen buy? Ah, whatever. I want to see how No Sheen feels. It'll be a good limit test. Good is not enough. An enemy has been slain. Honestly, kind of nice having this Cinder. Makes a pretty big difference. Very nice trade. We can maybe dive here once my ulti comes up. It would be nice to have Q3 for the dive. He has no flash here. Nice, dude. Feeling clean. One thing that's I one thing that I've learned playing K Santi, you gotta be really careful if they have a minion wave like that. Like having that extra range for ease actually. Something I never thought about until I played Kaysanti. It really changes the lane if they got those minions to jump to. Alright, let's do that. Let's do probably Merc Treads, I'm thinking. And then Jack Show, Force of Nature. Okay, Santi's really balanced. He he actually has balance, but he is, he's good in like certain situations. It's weird. I mean, I guess I guess for any champion. I think his ulti is a little bit unbalanced, but I think the rest of his kit is pretty balanced. Yeah, you get the extra e, you get the extra e range on minions. It's really crazy. Oh crap! I canceled my auto. 
Jungle's up here, but we have Ghost. I should be all right. You were joking, he's not balanced. I guess we'll have to agree to disagree. I think he's strong, but I don't think he's like super OP. It always depends though, because he has a lot of anything with a high skill ceiling. Like, it's hard to say, you know? Like, maybe, yeah, maybe if a challenger pro player is playing him, he's not balanced. So, I guess it depends on, like... It just depends on the context, I guess. Because pro play is so much different than, like, solo queue. But when I think about the game, I don't really think in terms of pro play because it's such a such a small pool of players. I think more about like solo queue. No monster greater than pride. I want to get this plate. This is diveable. I need to build up my Q3. Let's build up Q3. Oh, my Cinder's gonna kill that. Okay, I guess we can just do that. I don't even need my Q3. Have you ever tried Heart Steel on K Santi? I haven't tried that now. I've honestly, I've pretty much only done Iceborne. I did Jack Show a long time ago when it was like really OP. Like before Jack Show got pretty nerfed down. So this is my first time even doing a, a different mythic. Besides Iceborne. Heart Steel's interesting because your ulti skills off your resist, right? So you get a ton of damage from building resist. Like right now I'm losing 85% of my armor and MR. But that's giving me 51 damage. And 18 Omnivamp. I don't think we should rim right now, actually. Let's try to get tower. Oh, the Omnivamp skills on bonus HP. So I guess you get a lot of heals with that build. Yeah, maybe I'll have to try that sometime. I think we can just dump full combo. We're too tanky for him to really trade back right now. Oh crap, my Cinder. That was a little bit overkill, but the Fizz was tanking, so I got kind of scared. 
Wow, that W damage in my all out's really nice. I kind of pushed him out. That's all I got, dudes. That was pretty messy, I'm not going to lie. Careful, man. Once I have my E, I can go back in. And his keys down. Do that last second flash. That was nice, though. Let's get our protein. Oh, the Uter is going AD, so Force of Nature will be a little bit worse. Still going to be pretty good, though. Good is not enough. He's going to do, like, hybrid damage. Test out this protein. So I guess in a way you actually kind of get more damage. Well, I don't know. Do you get more damage than a ice horn with Jack Show? Because you're getting more resist. You're losing that Sheen proc though. I do not know the math on that. Dude, I don't get knocked away if I W that. That was a weird interaction. I want to ult this Kaisa. Gotta be like so close though. Oh crap, I messed up. not good for this. Thought there was going to be a blast can. Okay, well, we baited the AZ. We baited their whole team, I guess. Dude, this guy's really good with Fizz. Man, it's popping off. We 
we could sell our D shield. I think I will. You know the one thing I wish about Kaysanti? I wish there was like a good damage item. I could try like Death Dance, I guess. But I feel like you get more damage off going Thornmail. Yeah, Thornmail's probably the buy here. Dude, I'll tank these guys for days. We have over 200 of each resist right now. We're not really feeling the lack of damage, but I think it's because I'm pretty fed. And also our team is fed. But I can't really feel the lack of the uh, Sheen proc. Like how you're using K-Santi W the same way as Urgot E. Yeah, I go kind of ham with the W. I should use it more as like a... More like for the damage reduction. Dude, it gives 65% damage reduction right now. If I'm in my all out, it gives a... What, what was it? 84%? That's insane. So that's definitely better with Jack Show. The damage reduction is much better at Jack Show. I'm gonna back up this Fizz. If this guy even needs backup. Honestly, in a game like this, though, I don't really need to use my W for damage reduction. It's better to use it just for the damage. Dude, I was watching this, uh, I was watching, like, a Challenger k Santi VOD, and one of the comments on there was saying, k Santi when he uses E, looks like he's slipping on a banana peel, but catching himself. It really does look like that. Like, look at this. It looks like he's slipping on a banana peel. Such a good comment. I can't unsee it now. Rumble's in a bad spot. You saw a 5 mil mastery rumble lose to Melio top lane. What? Melio top lane? Does Melio top lane even, like, do damage? I thought that guy's like purely support champ. Let's test out our tanking. Yeah, we literally don't take damage. 300 armor and almost 300 MR. They need like true damage. It's like Kaisa's Kraken does a little bit of damage.
Let's see if I can bait something. We got a K Santi, Zach, and a Terrak for frontline, and a Terrak ulti. So much to get through, man. This team comp is awesome. Also, thanks for that Prime sub, Brayu. Appreciate that, man. Thank you, thank you, dude. Mastery just shows how much somebody likes a champion, not how good they are. Yeah, that's true. Um, last item. Dude, maybe I will get a death dance. They're not killing me. I think we can. I want to go something with damage. Dude, my W is 82% damage reduction, and if I go into my ulti, it's 98%. 98% damage reduction. Can that actually go to 100%? If we get this Mountain Drig, it will be. If it can actually go to 100%. I don't know if it can. I don't want to get this mountain soul just to see. I want to see if it actually gets to 100%. Not like it really matters, but I just want to see. Yeah, 98% is like, might as well be 100%. I'm just curious. I like Wing that dragon knockback. Oh yeah, 102%. Wow, so it just keeps going. That's crazy, man. Mountain Soul just seems unfair with our team comp. I'm gonna try to kidnap that Kaisa. I am literally not taking damage. Invincible K Santi build, dude. Oh, my team is dying now. Uh oh. Crap. All right, we trolled it a little bit. It should be fine. Also, I'm actually pretty squishy in my all-out form still. Because I lose so much of my resist. But look at this, dude. I gain 120 AD and 26% Omnivamp.
I wonder if I should go stone plate. I wanted to limit test death dance, but having the stone plate shield would be nice for all out. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. If I have a stone plate in the all out, I can actually live. I can get like pretty ham and still live. I don't even know if we need to go for Baron. Wow, you can use your Demolish proc on Azer turret? That's funny. Take their ADC out real quick. My resists are still decent. Gosh, you lose so much in that all out though. That was a fun match though, man. Jack Show felt way better than Iceborne that game. Almost 4k damage on the Sunfire as well.